How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to be working on a Brother HL 2270DW that's giving us some issues. Hopefully we can get it fixed, save it from the trash, and create a video to help other people with the same or similar problems. So before we get into it, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the fix. Well, let's get into the problem first. So once I turn this printer on, it'll power cycle on perfectly fine. It will get into ready mode. We get a solid green light. And whenever I try to send a print job to this printer, for instance, if I just wanna print out a test print setting page, I hit this go button three times. It sounds like it's gonna print. And then it just gives me the solid amber error, which we look right here. It has a solid amber error, and that means there's no paper. However, there certainly is paper in here. So something is going on with the printer. So the no paper feed error usually comes from a little thing in here. There is a little piece of plastic that's supposed to be visible. I can't see it. The uh, paper tray pushes it, which moves some cams on the side, which you'll probably see later once we rip the side off. And then that allows the paper pickup to work. And if that thing gets pushed in or messed up, it gives you the no paper error. I have a dedicated video showing exactly how to fix this on a different model, and I will put a link to that in the corner as well as in the description so you can check that out that one will have some really really close-up shots for that repair but anyways for this printer we're going to turn it off unplug it and we're going to have to figure out how to get into this side i've never done it on this model before but it looks like so on the front with the cover open there is a little nub for this left piece of plastic i'm just going to pry up on it there we go and there was a little nub here, a little nub up here. Now we gotta get this back side off. There's like a little lip here that I just kind of jiggled and it came off. And then it looks like a little hook here, a little lip here. I just jiggled it and it came off. So that gives us access to this side. Let me zoom in where the problem is lying. It's this piece right here. So the problem is lying right here. This piece is kind of dislodged it looks like it's just dislodged so i'm gonna put it back where it's supposed to be just like that wow that was that was really really easy all i did was push a little piece of the plastic in where it was pressed and then now so now when the tray goes in it'll push and then this gear will raise and you'll see that it engages with that gear and then it allows the paper pickup to work. And you can see it from the front here. It's pushing it in like that. And then from the side here, there's like a little clip that was supposed to be pushed in. And that's what was broken on that. We plugged the printer back in, turned it on. We're gonna load the paper tray. We still have this side cover off. We wanna be very careful about that. As soon as we get that ready light solid, we're gonna hit go three times. Or you could send a print job to the printer. And now it should be able to pick up paper and print as it should. There is our settings that we printed and it looks like that was indeed the problem with this printer and it is good to go. I'm gonna turn it off, unplug the back, and now we're going to put this side panel back on. We're gonna do it in reverse of how we took it off. So I'm gonna take the paper tray out, line up the bottom zigzag down here, and then press the top case over that little circle. And then we're going to have to open the front cover let that drop in and then we're going to press the top portion over that circle and then this bottom part it should lock in pretty simple fix it will be the same or very very similar on multiple models because there's a lot of overlapping design in a lot of these brother printers especially the hl series so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up if you aren't already subscribed to the channel consider subscribing and i will talk to you in the next video bye